Today, we are going to be finding Espio from Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, the last time we played this game, you can see the character we have. We have Ninja Amy. And in the last time over here at Way of the Ninja, if we flash back, you can see Amy just kicking a board. But now, if we go across this bridge, look who it is. It is my boy Espio. And he's kind of looking like he's preparing to fight right now. Why is he squaring up with me? Espio, buddy, I'm just trying... Oh, okay. Well, here's what we got to do. We got to collect all of these elemental scrolls. It looks like there's a blue, green, red, and purple at the top. So, uh, I guess we got to find all of them. Hopefully, they're going to be on every map, by the way. Oh, hold up now. I see a bunch of green right here. I'm really hoping that in this update, they're a lot easier to find. And maybe there's a lot more than just a few together. I'm also hoping that they're going to be just on every map. Because right now, I'm only finding the green scrolls. So, maybe on the... Uh, well, never mind. There's some right here. There's a red one, and he's going to be giving us a... Wait a minute. I can't hit him? Maybe the red scrolls you actually have to hit. Okay, and those give you 100. Okay, what about the blue scrolls? You also have to hit those as well. And they give you about 50. And with Amy's Taekwondo techniques over here, she will easily be able to get all these. So what we know right now, the red ones, you have to hit them. The blue ones, you also have to hit them. But the green ones, you can just kind of run up on them and they will just collect for you. They really thought they were about to hide all these from Amy. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Easy peasy. Actually, I think the red ones only give you 50. To yeah, they only give you 50. I thought that thing gave me 100 before. Man, I'm kind of disappointed. But you know what? That is all right because we will still be getting every single scroll in this game. Y'all just wait on it. We actually need to look at the rewards first. The first one, we get an SBO blue trail at 50,000. Then we get two water ninja chows and then three of them. Okay, and that's 75k and 100k. But then last but definitely not least, we have SBO at 150k. That is gonna take us a while. I don't know if we're gonna make it all the way or if we just buy them with Robux. Y'all let me know how long it takes you all in the comments. I've been seeing your all's comments and some of these updates, it's been taking you all like a few hours and I applaud each and every one of you for sticking through it. But me personally, I can't do it. I don't have the patience. But big shout out to the crew for being able to do it. You guys are amazing. And now let's see how many are over. Oh my goodness, there's so many over here. And a lonely red one. Hey, uh, Mr. Scroll, what are you doing here? <laughs> You know what? That's all right. I'll send you home. There. I hate that it only gives us 50 from one scroll. It needs to be giving us like a thousand or something like that. That would decrease the time so much in this game. We would just be able to collect all the scrolls and play with the characters rather than have to hunt all day long. Actually, how many scrolls do I have right now? Let me go ahead and hit this blue one. We have 6,000. So you know what? Not too bad. We're really close to that 10,000 mark. Actually, wait a minute. What am I doing? I need to take out a plane. I just noticed that there's a lot of them in midair. I remember that one challenge we did when we had the plane and we were just hitting every thing out of the air like this. Guys, this might be the move. The only bad thing about it, though, there's not a ton of them that are in the air, but you can go close to the ground like this and destroy everything in sight. Yep, yeah, guys, this is the move. Take out your plane. That actually sped this process up a lot. Look at that. We already have 10k to the left. I wonder if we can collect the green ones, though, from the plane. Let me go ahead and see if I can fly right over. Okay, yeah, I'm sure, sure can. So really, you could just get the plane and go as low as possible and collect every single thing. Like, look at this. Each one of these blue ones, take a seat. And we circle around here we got some more blues and, you know, some greens to pick up. I actually want to see if there's more scrolls on every map, though. You, you guys already know, we usually check every single map in these updates. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to destroy a few more scrolls. And now uh, let's go to the next map. And that would, of course, be Lost Valley already. I see a bunch of scrolls right in front of us. Now, from our previous videos, we found out that Lost Valley is a very good map for these kind of challenges. Mainly because you can get on this rail and get so many. And I do see a lot of them in the air right now. So maybe, just maybe, this map will will also be good for the... You know what? I'm taking it out already. Let's go ahead and get our plane out. And as you can see, there's a bunch of them in the air that we can absolutely destroy up here. And then once you're done up here, we're just going to nosedive towards the ground. And look at all these we can collect, man. The plane is such a move. Let me see if I can get all these. Get close to the ground. Oh my... Look, at I just got so many of the greens. You don't even have to be high in the sky with the plane, by the way. You could just literally stay on the ground and... Oh, hold up now. You know, as long as you don't hit anything and explode. But it's all right. We got another plane here. Nobody worry at all. So right now, I'm saying Lost Valley. It's once again the best map to do this challenge. It's been the best map to do this so many times in a row now that I can't even keep up with it. Here we go with all these scrolls. I like the fact that you don't have to aim, by the way. You can literally just hold down the fire button and it'll just hit each and every scroll that's in front of you, man. I love me some plane. And actually, we've only been on this map for maybe like three minutes or so, and we already have over 20,000. So if you thought I was joking about this map, 
being the best? Absolutely not. The numbers don't lie. But as you guys know, we gotta give the other maps a fair shot. So let's go to Emerald Hill. All right, guys, here we are. Already, we have two red scrolls right in front of us and a bunch of green ones and some blue ones right... Oh, hold up now. There's a bunch... You know what? I'm taking out the plane already. It's only right, guys. If you don't have the plane, you need to get one real soon, man. This thing comes in clutch. Oh my goodness. Look at all of them in the air, guys. This is gonna be a beautiful map for this. Let's go ahead and see. We have 23,000 as of right now. Let's see how many we can get in maybe like five minutes. As long as we just keep hitting them up here. Actually, let me go ahead and nosedive because I see a lot of them right below me. Oh my goodness. Guys, this map might have a chance to be number one, especially if you just fly right through the middle. Like I said, you don't have to aim, so it's just gonna hit everything in front of you. Oh my goodness, bro. Who would have thought Emerald Hill would have been one of the best maps for this? If you would have thought Emerald Hill was gonna be the best, let me know in the comments, but me personally, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I, I wrecked my plane. Like I was trying to say, though, I did not think this map was gonna be any good for this challenge. I can't lie to you. But already, as you can see to the left, we have 30,000 to our name. And considering that we had 23,000 when we got here, and we've been here for two minutes, this is amazing. Yep, so I'm saying right now, Emerald Hill, it's gotta be number one on my list. I I'm sorry, Lost Valley. I mean, there's just so many scrolls on this map. Bro, there's so many. We've officially now gotten over 10,000 just being on this map. So, like I said, this one, my number one. This is absolutely insane. I think I'm gonna stick here until we hit, like, 40k, which honestly should be in about... 12 seconds later. Right now, peep the left, we have over 40,000. And now it's about that time. We gotta give every map a chance, so Snow Valley. Now, right when I spawned in here, it already collected a few. So, hopefully this time, you know, Snow Valley is a little better, because normally Snow Valley is just so poop with every challenge. I'm already gonna hop in a plane, just to see how many are in the sky up here. Now, I'm not seeing a bunch, so is Snow Valley again gonna be one of the worst in the... Yeah, I think it is, guys. I barely see any of them. I mean, there's kinda some up here, but they're the green ones. They don't give you a lot at all. And look at this, guys. I'm flying around here, and I see none in the sky. And, you know, it's a beautiful sky. I'll give them that. But as far as the scrolls, there's barely any on this map. You know what? I'm getting out of here. Now we're over here to the hilltop, and this map, you guys know, normally it's pretty good. But can it be better than the Lost Valley and Emerald Hill? I don't know about it. We're starting off pretty nice with all these scrolls that are in the air, though. This map starting off good. And of course, as you all know, if we just drop down here, they are green, but there's gonna be a lot of them right here. So we can collect each and every one of these bad boys right here. I mean, look at it. It's just gonna be a giant line full of scrolls. But it looks like there's just a bunch of green ones on this map. And the blue ones, you can see there's only like three or four of them together. So I don't know, man. Hilltop, it was very, very good at one point in time. But now, I I'm really thinking Lost Valley and Emerald Hill's the move. So you know what? We're heading right back to my favorite map for this update. That would be Emerald Hill. Mainly because we are very close to that 50,000 mark. And I think we'll be able to hit it very soon here. So let's go ahead and destroy every single scroll. I didn't even know there's some over there, too. They're literally just everywhere on this map. Plus, there's a bunch of XP to get. Like all of the rings and whatnot. I mean, it's just a beautiful map for it. And if we keep going right here, you can see to the left, we're almost there. And we hit 50k. So let's go ahead and exit the mountain. See that first little trail. That's going to be the SPO blur, which isn't giving us like any XP. So you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not putting that on. But the next one here, we need 75,000. And that's the two water ninjas. And honestly, we're already at 50,000. So we only need 25 more. It's not going to be that bad. 25 more thousand, by the way. But like I said, it's not going to be too bad. We're just going to follow our little path right here and continue to destroy all of these scrolls, especially this little path right here. I mean, you could just hear the chiming in the background from how many we're getting. It's absolutely insane. Honestly, you, you could kind of go across this map, try to get each and every scroll, and then if they're not spawning fast enough, you could head right back to Lost Valley and just keep doing that. I feel like that's definitely the move for this challenge. So if you're trying to get all 150k, just follow exactly what I said, and you will probably get there definitely in under an hour. We pretty much just cleared this entire side out, so let's go ahead and try that out. Back in Lost Valley, where we are going to absolutely destroy all of these scrolls too. And we're going to do exactly what I just said. And right when we clear this map, we're going to head right back over to Emerald Hill. Over and over again until all of these scrolls are ours and we have that beautiful purple SPO. By the way, guys, peep to the left. We already have that 60,000. So 15 more thousand and we will already be at that blue ninja chow level. We are doing so good today. All right. Well, after we get these scrolls right here, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and go back to Emerald Hill. And we should just be able to get the rest of them from here. I'm, I'm going to get to the 75,000 mark. And you guys got to be proud of me, man. That's literally halfway to SBO, and I'm probably just going to buy SBO. I don't know yet. I just really want you guys to be able to see SBO before this video ends. So we're definitely going to get them. And we're definitely going to follow this path, man. Oh, I love this map. We just hit 60,000, and look at the left. We already are at 66,000. That is absolutely insane, man. If you hated this map before, today is the day to like it. This map deserves zero hate for this update, man. I am loving it. And would you look at that? Over to the left, we are at 70,000. 
70,000. And honestly, if I just follow this line one more time, we should be able to reach the level right now. Peep the left. We got 75k. So let's go ahead and collect our winnings here. We've got the two water ninja chows, and they look amazing too, but you know what? I think we're getting the super prize right now. Let's unlock Espio. Let's go ahead and see him come out for the first time. Ooh, Espio. He looks so good. By the way, look at his stance, man. He is not playing around over here. Our boy's got the hand up like he's about to fight somebody, and watch his little run here. He keeps his hand out. I'm already liking this character. He just runs with ease. One thing we do have to find out, though, how high can Espio go in the sky? Okay, it looks pretty high. Espio, buddy, uh, do you know how to fly? Uh, oh, great. I don't think he does. There's no wings, and he's an iguana, right? So I don't think he can fly. Everybody, watch out! Oh, um, somehow, after we exploded, we ended up at this race. So, let's go ahead and race my boy Sa Sonic. Um, Espio, what in the world did I just witness, buddy? That race was horrible. You know what? We have to try that again. Espio, do not let me down this time, buddy. I'm not gonna lie. That could have been my fault. Let's go ahead and see how we do with Espio this time. Oh, we're off to a great start. Beautiful job, Espio. Hold up now. I'm pretty sure right when we pass this little grinding rail, we should get to the end. Espio won. We hit, like, the perfect spot on that race, and it literally really just bounced us up. Wait a minute, we lost? We came in second place in that race. You know what, guys? That's the end of this video. Let me know what you thought about SBO, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I love y'all. Goodbye.